wanna. Hey everyone, welcome to the 2020 two week shred. We've got a 15 minutes workout today that's gonna work your whole body. If you're following the whole program, you can find a free day by day schedule on my website. And if you're looking for support, join the rest of the community on Discord and use my hashtags on Instagram and YouTube. Now smash that like button, subscribe, and also turn on notifications so you get notified for my upcoming workouts. Let's get started. We've got four sets today with 24 exercises, 30 seconds on and 5 to 20 seconds off. We're starting off with windmill skater. Take a big jump to the side, lunging down and touching your foot with your opposite hand. Then hop onto the other side, lifting your hands like a windmill. Make sure your back is neutral and core engaged. For the low impact, just take your time to get familiar with the exercises before you go all out. Nice work, next up we're shuffling to your side and doing a knee tuck. Make sure you engage your core as you crunch. Ten seconds rest here. We are doing a round of high knees followed by feet tap. Make sure you land softly and don't hurt your ankles. Remember, it's totally okay to take as many breaks as you need to. Just rely on the low impact and just keep moving. Now, time for some touch ground squats. We're squatting down low and touching the ground with one hand each time. Keep your back neutral, glutes engaged and core tight. You're doing well guys, we're halfway through the first set. Keep it up. <laughs> Three, one time, everybody. Alright, time for another combination move. We're doing an overhead reach followed by jumping jacks. Keep pushing through guys, take it slower if you need to, it's totally okay. Three one time everybody! Nicely done. Now you can catch your breath with this next one. We're doing some reverse lunge kicks. Make sure your front knee doesn't pass your toes as you lunge down. Then kick and repeat on the other leg. Rewind time, everyone. Now time for the last exercise of set 1. We're doing burpees followed by a tuck jump. You can do this and you can take a longer break before the next set. Give it all you got. And if you can't do tuck jump, you can try high knees or do the low impact version.
that one's done, do take a longer break here. A few minutes break is totally okay. Make sure you have caught your breath before you move on to the next set. Really important to go at your own pace. All right, let's start the second set with a low lunge jump. Lunge backwards and then jump upwards, lifting your knee up. Make sure your back is neutral and follow the low impact if you can't jump. Now onto the other side. Now time for some curtsy lunges. Nice and easy one, no need for any low impacts. If you want to make it more challenging, you can add a little jump in between. Just three more exercises for set two. Alright, next we've got high knees. Bring your knees up to your hips level and this is gonna raise your heart rate. Again, if you can't jump, you can always try the low impact version. Okay, next we're doing a lateral lunge followed by a hop upwards. For low impact, just do it without the hop. to the other side and we're done with set 2. Nice work guys, we are more than halfway through the workout. Take a longer rest here to catch your breath. Again, a few minutes break is totally okay. Alright, this set is shorter with only 5 exercises and we're starting with plank to squat. So get in a high plank position. From a high plank position, jump into a squat, then back into a plank and repeat. Make sure you're engaging your core and your butt. For low impact, just hold a plank. Next, we're doing some push-ups followed by some arm raises. If you can't do a regular push-up, just do so while on your knees.
Nice work guys, now flip around into a reverse tabletop position and we're doing some tricep dip reaches. Try to raise your arms as high as you can without compromising your form. For low impact, you can hold a tabletop position. Keep pushing on, we've got two more exercises and we're on to our final set. Reverse plank taps are next. Do without the taps if you need to, it's okay. Make sure you're really engaging your core and your glutes here. This is really great for your arms and back too. Alright, flip around into a low plank and we're doing lateral plank walks. Make sure you're doing this on your fitness mat. Last exercise of the set, guys. Great work guys, we're done with set 3. Now take a longer rest if you need to. Next, sit on your butt, lean back slightly with your arms to the side and we've got cycles. Make sure you're engaging your core here and feeling that burn in your abs. If you're not engaging your core, you're gonna risk injuring your lower back. Now flip around, we've got mountain climbers next. Just two more minutes guys, you've got this. Engage your core. Now lay flat on your mat and we've got reach through. Reach forward in between your legs and squeeze your abs. You can do this. Come on, you can do it. Alright, no rest here, we're going straight into reverse crunch variations. Make sure your back is flat on the mat, you don't want to hurt your lower back. Final rest and we've got two more exercises back to back. Get in a high plank and we've got plank tap crossover. Bring one leg underneath to the other side and repeat.
No rest here. Last exercise, we are doing some arm raise plank jacks. As your legs are jumping outwards, raise one arm at a time. And let's wrap up this workout. You can do it. And that's the workout guys, great job in finishing this workout. Thanks for working out with me, smash that like button and leave a comment down below with how you went and I'll see you in the next workout. Bye!